ARM assembly three. What integer does this program print with the argument 363-424-7936? We have this challenge 3.s file. And so I'm going to walk you through this challenge 3.s file. If you look down in the main program, it's similar to before. We have a string result and a long integer. We call function one, having passed the parameter to it. If you were to ask you to enter, we simply print that result. So we want to know what does function one return when given this parameter here, this 363 number. So as we walk through this function, what it does, it stores w0, the parameter that comes into the function, at x29, which is the stack pointer, plus 28. We then store the zero register, so we set x29 plus 44 equal to zero. We jump down here, our loop conditions at the bottom. We're going to loop until x29 plus 28 is zero. Okay, we load that, we compare it to zero, we branch not equal back up here. So we'll loop until this is zero. Up here, we load the value, we end it with one, and we compare to zero. So we're doing a test for oddness. Right, so if it's odd, because if it's even, it jumps down here. If it's zero, it jumps down there. So if it's odd, we call this func2 with the value of x29 plus 44. If we look down at func2, it's a pretty straightforward function. It takes its parameter, it adds 3 to it, and returns it. So really all that's going to do is add 3 every single time. Here then we take x29 plus 28, we do a logical shift right by 1, which is equivalent to dividing by 2. So in essence, we're looking at every bit of this number, seeing if it's odd. And if it's odd, we're adding 3 to the return value. So what we can do is we can just go into Python, get that number in binary, count the number of bits that are odd, so 1, 2. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 times 3 is 39. We get that in hexadecimal, and that is 0x27. So our flag is going to be Pico's CTF, and we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27, because we need a 32 bit number. So we have all those leading zeros. And that is our flag. 